Hey, I'm Bridget, a certified sleep science coach and mattress expert here at Sleepopolis. And today I'm going to be reviewing the Dream Cloud mattress. I'm gonna put it through a variety of tests and let you know how it does on our Sleepopolis scorecard. But before we dive in, here are some quick facts you should know about the Dream Cloud. It's a 14 inch tall luxury hybrid mattress. So it has a quilted foam cover with cashmere, then memory foam layers for pressure relief and inner spring coils on bottom for support and airflow. I consider it a medium firm mattress. The Dream Cloud ships for free and comes with a competitive 365 night trial, free returns, and an impressive lifetime warranty. It arrives compressed in a box, so grab a friend when setting it up. My coworker Amelia helped me here, and you can see how quickly it popped open and expanded after we cut off the plastic wrap. Give it a day or two to fully take its shape though and release any packing smells. Our first test is a really important one if you share the bed with a partner or a pet, checking for motion isolation. Motion isolation is how well a bed keeps movement from traveling from one side to the other. So think if you're sleeping on this side of the bed, your partner's tossing and turning on that side, you don't wanna feel those movements. We test it out with the red wine test, which is a really easy visual way to see. I put a glass of wine on one side and moved around on the other side to see how it affected it. And these were pretty good results, which is impressive for a hybrid mattress. So overall, I'd give it three and a half stars for motion isolation. Next up is our edge support test. Edge support is a measure of how well the perimeter of a mattress supports weight. So it's important if you ever like to sit or sleep near the edge of the bed, and it can also be really important for couples. To start the test, I sat on the edge and moved around, and you can see a bit of sinkage. Then I laid and moved around on the edge of the bed. I felt comfortable, but did also still notice some sinkage. So overall, I'd give it three and a half stars for edge support. Now it's time for the pressure map test. Although I can tell you the Dream Cloud has a cushiony on top of the bed feel, the pressure map takes it a step further. It uses heat mapping technology to show where pressure is building across my body when I lay on the mattress. Here's what you need to know when you're looking at these results. Blues and greens are good and show low pressure. Oranges and reds are bad and show high pressure. You're going to want to see low pressure around your back, hips, and shoulders if you sleep on your side or back. When I laid on my back, I saw mainly blue with little hints of green. On my side, there was pretty much all blue and green with some yellow around my hip. So based on these results, I give the Dream Cloud five stars for pressure relief for back sleeping and three and a half stars for pressure relief for side sleeping. And I do want to add, it's not really about pressure when it comes to stomach sleeping. We're about to cover them next. Now let's go over the different sleeping positions and how they all do on the Dream Cloud. No matter what position you sleep in, you're going to want to have your spine in alignment, but you're going to need different things out of a bed in order to make that happen. Stomach sleepers need a firm mattress to keep their hips propped up to keep their spine aligned. Since I think the Dream Cloud is a touch firmer than average, I think it could work for lighter weight stomach sleepers and combination stomach sleepers. A lot of strict stomach sleepers may want a firmer bed though. I'd give it three and a half stars for stomach sleeping. Side sleepers need some contouring around their shoulder and hip to avoid pressure from building up. And I thought this did a pretty good job, but I think strict side sleepers or side sleepers with sensitive joints may want a softer bed. So I'd give it four stars for side sleeping. While back sleepers need a comfortable and supportive option. I think back sleepers would really like the dream cloud. So I'd give it five stars for back sleeping. Next up is testing for responsiveness. Responsiveness is how easily you can move around on a mattress. So this is really important for combination sleepers or anyone who has mobility issues. And when I'm on the dream cloud, I can easily move around and its coils give it some nice bounce too. It's also easy to settle into a new sleeping position. So overall, I'd give the Dream Cloud five stars for responsiveness. 
Price can be a really important factor when buying a new mattress. I do want you to keep in mind, mattress prices change all the time. And DreamCloud also runs sales a lot. We also always have coupons for you to help out too. Just click the link in the description below. But right now you can get the DreamCloud at full retail in a queen size for about $1,200. Okay, now that we've made it through all of our tests, I want to give the Dream Cloud one final score. Along with all the tests you've seen in this video, I'm also going to include other factors like its cooling abilities, its materials, its warranty information, and more. And when I crank the numbers and put it all together, I give it a final score of 4.32 out of 5. All right, I hope you found this review helpful. If you have any questions, wanna learn more about this mattress, other mattresses, just head over to sleepopolis.com and don't forget to hit that subscribe button before you go. I'll see you next time.